here with Senior Libero, Channing Burleson, another first team all Southland Conference selection. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. You guys will head into the tournament in your own backyard or front yard or whatever. I don't know what an arena has, but you'll be at home. How special is it to play the uh, the conference tournament at home? Um, it's huge. I mean, it's a little weird walking in there in practice and they're all setting up for the conference tournament and putting Southland on everything makes it feel a little different. But, I mean, I think we'll have home court advantage and that'll play a huge part. So. What makes Prather a, a tough environment for other teams to come in and play? Um... Prather is a lot bigger than most gyms in our conference, so I think that can be different, you know, having to adjust. But, I don't know, also sometimes our gym is pretty quiet. We don't have a lot of fans, so, I mean, people aren't used to that and have to provide their own energy, so. You came in, you've had a couple of transitions, I think. You, you were recruited by the previous staff, mm -hmm. so let's talk about that. What was that transition like when you come in expecting to play for one coach and then you end up playing for another? What was... Was that a, a tough transition, easy transition? Um, I mean, it was different, but I wouldn't necessarily say it was tough just because we had never actually played for Hugh and Steph, although they were, um, were the ones that recruited us. But, I mean, I think it was probably tougher for the upperclassmen that had already been here. But Sean and the girls that came in with me made it easier. So. And then your second transition, one that's put you very, very high in, in the school record book, single season and career, was moving from outside hitter to libero after your freshman year. You've always said you love defense, mm -hmm. and I think it's pretty obvious watching you play. So was we've talked about this many times. That was probably an easy, even an easier transition for yeah, you. Yeah, um, I mean, I loved hitting. Obviously, it's what I did for my whole volleyball career up until that point. But I mean, like, like I said, I love defense, and so it was natural, I guess, switching. But something I had to adapt to as well. Well, you'll take away a lot of hardware, a lot of awards and accolades from your time here. Aside from that, what are some of the things you'll take away uh, from your four years? Um, definitely my friendships. Um, it's something that I'll have for the rest of my life. So that and then just volleyball memories and things I went through in my four years here. Any of those memories just pop right out when you <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I mean, I have to sit there and think about them, but I'll have them. All right. Well, we'll get you off on a little easier question here to end it. What does this team have to do to be successful in this this weekend's tournament? Um, I think just do what we know how to do. I mean, just it comes down to playing volleyball and just, I mean, we're a great team. and We can beat anybody in this conference. So as long as we have that confidence going into it, I think we can do good. Any nerves playing at home? Um, no. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Janie. Thank you.